Selamat datang ke Borak Gadget edisi lawatan sambil belajar Hari ini kita nak lihatkan mesin pengimbas muka dan juga pemeriksa suhu badan Mr. Sim. Hi, Mr. Sim. Hi, Jason. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Mr. Sim, can you tell me more about your company? Okay, uh, Gamma Solution have been established uh, since uh, 2000. So all the while, we are doing the AI intelligent video surveillance. Okay. In, in layman term, we'll call it a CCTV. Apart from, you know, uh, producing all these uh, amazing, you know, advanced machineries and devices, is there any achievements or milestones that you all have achieved that you all can share? By using our expertise in this industry, Actually, we are quite pleasure to say that during uh, year of 2017, we have been organized one of the CSR program. Okay. It's a nationwide CSR program which benefit the government school, mm. up to 100 government school. All these government school have been installed with a high megapixel CCTV. So in order to help them to fight crime, uh, prevent the kidnapping and so on. On top of that, because of this CSR uh, campaign, we managed to got several recognitions from uh, different uh, parties and uh, with uh, awards. The Star Soba and Sinju Business Excellence Award. And not forget to mention also, uh, Intel also presented us an award uh, which is a retail specialist of our uh, year. Retail of, specialist from yeah, Intel. Uh, on oh. year of 2019. Now that we know a little bit more about your company, um, the reason I'm here because uh, we heard that uh, your company has this amazing, very advanced machinery and device for this pandemic era. What is it about? Uh? I'm not sure. Can you talk to me about it? Okay, by using the uh, technology for facial recognition. So actually, we have uh, add on the uh, body temperature scanning technology in our system mm -hmm. to do the fever detections mm -hmm. on a human before the user or visitor enter the premises. So this will actually uh, prevent the cross infection on uh, COVID-19. Can you tell me more like what are the different parts of this system? Basically, uh, we have two types of our system. One is we call it as a thermal IP camera. Thermal IP camera? Yeah. So thermal IP camera is uh, one solution which uh, you can do the scanning for a crowd of people, like shopping malls. Like airport? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. Mm. And also convention center mm. and, and other uh, place which we think that the application is suitable. The second solution will be the uh, face access panel. This uh, face access panel will be more suitable for uh, quite many different segments like retail, education, Front. restaurants. Okay and many many more which uh, which the premises they think that they, are, they need the body temperature scanning before access to the premises how do you achieve all these things uh? like what technology do you put in or is there any partner that you work with uh, this is our in-house solution which uh, we gather uh, ingredient from few of our hardware vendors and by topping up our own innovation on software development so we come out a total solution for body temperature measurement system so okay now that you have this changi machine right what is your strategy in getting you know vendors restaurants you know retails to have this system in stock i love the word changi mm. <laughs> okay so the ingredient of a changi is on uh, we apply the the uh, benefit of uh, social media yeah. like facebook some of our uh, contact from linkedin we promote by posting a post on uh, different based on the different application and uh, what they need why and when they need our solutions. Like for example, recently uh, we have created a, a series of uh, Facebook posts mm. which is uh, regarding our application, how application to apply in different segments like mm. F&B means uh, cafe or restaurant. They just need a very simple and straightforward solution by using our face banner. Mm. So actually, they just let the visitor scan and keep the record. Mm. Keep the record and then at the end of the day, the staff or the owner will maybe just uh, back up the transaction which is a temperature record from the machines. Do we need someone to actually stand there and operate the machine? Uh, because this machine is actually working uh, fully automated. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, make, taking example again, in a factory, so mm -hmm. if the worker, they queuing to the queuing in front of the machine mm -hmm. to scan, to scan and then walk in, right. actually the whole process is without anyone to do the supervision for them. The face ID, uh, the ID for the workers, mm -hmm will be automatic record inside the system mm. and if the system is linked to the network so we have our CMS central monitoring system mm -hmm. software to uh, manage all the data as well Now, probably Malaysians will ask that, you know like why do I need this machine? because I, I go to a shop or maybe if I own a shop I can just ask my, my staff just go there, sit there, you know 
Anyone come, I just pass them the pen and write. Actually, we got to discuss about uh, the traditional temperature measurements. Mm. So, which means you need a uh, human to do uh, to use a handheld thermometer mm. to do the scanning. And after scanning, they will have a paper to record down the information. So, all this you need at least one or maybe two or more manpower. But when with the uh, body temperature measurement system, everything actually is done automatically and then mm. saved all the data ready mm. inside the, the, the device. There's also one more benefit is uh, we will reduce the risk of the staff or the visitor oh, being 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 the cross in fact yeah, by because each it's other. It's also dangerous for the, the staff that takes the temperature, right? Because they got contact. Yeah. Now I am investing in this uh, device, mm. right? So what if next time there's no more pandemic? Then this device, how? Uh? First of all, just want to highlight that this is a facial recognition based system. So when it comes to facial recognition based, it means that it's a system which you can make use to do the access control for certain uh, group of people what do you mean? in out to the premises. For example, if it's a registered face ID, mm. means it's the staff mm. or the maybe the members of the business premise. Yep. So their face is already inside the database. So right. when they scan, definitely they will be granted access. Our system, we have a stranger mode or we so-called a visitor mode. Mm. So by using stranger mode or visitor mode, immediately we can give stranger or visitor a temporary ID. So now, uh, probably just one or two more questions for you, Mr. Sim. What do you feel would benefit the country if everyone is using this system? Okay, first of all, when we deliver the system to the user, the system is belong to the user, it's the asset. But of course, on the intention of uh, how to benefit the user, mm. and also maybe we go wider uh, to benefit the, the community, mm. all of that include the post-pandemic solution is actually the security system. If you can see on the, on the screen behind you, mm. actually all our post-pandemic product, it can be linked back to our CCTV system. In that way, it's a, it's a CCTV camera, surveillance camera. I think I have obtained all the information I need about this Jungle device. Do you have any last message to share with the viewer that I missed out properly? There's too many last messages I'm going to <laughs> talk about. <laughs> but uh, the best last message I'll uh, mm. uh, 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 share with all of you is uh, please visit Facebook dot com slash gamma solutions we have uh, more and more information on our products our campaign or even our company information coming rapidly in uh, with a new posting mm. okay thank you very much Mr. Okay, thanks thanks Okey, itulah dia temu duga saya dengan Encik Sim. Okey, ah kalau anda nak tahu tentang lebih banyak lagi, ah klik saja pautan di bawah video, okey. 